plumber finds stolen wallet inside school bathroom. Then he sees the contents inside. You'll be surprised what you can find hidden away in schools. Think about it. So many students pass through those halls every year that the number of secrets that are waiting to be unlocked is unfathomable. When a pastor bought a derelict school to convert into a new community center, he needed a plumber to come and do some work on the bathrooms. When he opened up a vent on top of one of the toilets, he discovered something completely unexpected. Fifteen wallets had been hidden inside the vent. At first, he didn't think much of it. However, as he wiped away the cobwebs, he noticed something incredible inside them. A plumber was helping with some demolition work in the girls' restroom of an old derelict school in Illinois. As he cracked one of the vents, a pile of dusty items fell on his face. After removing the dust and cobwebs away, it soon became clear that he'd discovered a bunch of stolen wallets, which must have been hidden away for decades. As soon as he laid his eyes on them, though, he knew that he was onto something big. This incredible story took place in the hollow remains of an old institute, Illinois Centralia High School. Back in the 40s, students would run through the bustling hallways of this beautiful school and go from one class to the next. Fast forward nearly 80 years, though, and the school is now a shade of its former self. It's since fallen into disrepair. However, there are some people who still hold the derelict school very close to their heart. The man who's responsible for setting the story into motion is City Hope Church pastor Seth. Based on his social media pages alone, it's clear that the hip pastor is determined to change the world. That's all. One idea he had was to take what was left of Centralia High School and take ownership of it. He saw great potential in the building and wanted to transform it into something completely different. After agreeing on a price for the derelict school, the building was officially owned by CHC as of 2019. Seth's goal was to renovate Centralia, transforming it into a new community outreach center, which would also have a church inside. He claimed that he was hoping to find that really cool thing that nobody's seen in the last 75 or 100 years pop out. Surely enough, his prediction would come true once he got the renovation underway. After purchasing the derelict school in CHC's name, Seth was ready to get the renovation underway. He hired a team of workers and also got a plumber on board to fix up the school's bathrooms. This is where he made the big discovery. He demoed out part of the old girl's bathroom here on the second floor of this building, Seth said. After a few hours of work, the plumber came across an old dusty air vent and decided to crack it open. While removing one of the toilets, the plumber cracked open an air vent above it. However, he was in for a big surprise when all of a sudden, a pile of dusty items tumbled out. When he cut into the vent, just a whole bunch of wallets fell out, Seth said. At first, the plumber had no idea what the items were because they were covered in dust and cobwebs. However, he soon realized what they were. After cleaning up the items a little, the plumber could clearly see that he was staring at a bunch of wallets, 15 to be precise. They were weathered and in tatters, indicating that they'd been hiding in that air vent for many years. Naturally, the plumber was extremely confused. Why were 15 wallets stuck in an air vent of a derelict high school? Made no sense to him. Then the pastor developed a theory as to how they got there. Seth is convinced that someone must have stolen the wallets before hiding them in the bathroom's air vent. Then they hoped they'd be able to retrieve them at some point. For one reason or another, though, they never did. Best we can tell is that someone was stealing wallets and then ditched them behind the toilets in the heat vent, he said. And although there was no money to be found, the thief did leave some fascinating things behind. While it makes sense that whoever stole the wallets would have taken the money from them, Seth was still surprised to see what was inside them. They left behind all the pictures, information, and other documents, he said. There were photos of students as well as student IDs showing the names and ages of each owner. It was clear that these once belonged to students who attended Centralia High School back in the 1940s. That's not all they found, though. There were also plenty of signs in the wallets indicating that they were stolen around the time of World War II, specifically between 1945 and 1946. Many of the students had photos of soldiers in their wallets, which could have been relatives that had gone off to war. The war was ending, you know, so there there's lots of things, pictures from soldiers, Seth said. Soon enough, Seth categorized all the items and worked out who the wallets belonged to. After putting all the items in order, Seth and his team worked out exactly who the wallets and their contents belonged to. It made sense that all the former owners of the wallets were girls, seeing that they'd been hidden in a girl's bathroom. 
The names of the eight students were Sally Sloan, Doris Gray, Betty June Sism, Phyllis Adams, Mary Lou Cover, Rosemary Brueggemann, Jean Hudson, and Mary Agnes Gilmore. This begs the question, though, are they still around? The first thing that Seth asked himself was whether or not he'd be able to return the wallets to their previous owners. However, since over 75 years have passed since they were stolen, there was a chance that the previous owners might not even be alive anymore to receive them. Not to mention the fact that they may have changed their surnames or relocated since then. Nevertheless, Seth was determined to return them to their rightful owners. Soon enough, he developed a plan. Seth knew that the best way to locate the whereabouts of these people was through their relatives. So the pastor turned to social media and posted a photo of the wallet on his Facebook account. In the caption, he identified the names of the previous owners and explained his goal. If you know if they're still living or you're a family member, we'd love to get it back to you, he wrote. Soon enough, he found some answers. It didn't take long before the post was shared by many of Seth's friends and family. Then the post snowballed into a viral sensation, receiving over a thousand reactions and thousands of shares. It's been shared a thousand times, he said, then two thousand, then three thousand times. And people are commenting, so actually a lot of people reached out, and his relatives. Then a stranger contacted Seth and helped him make the biggest discovery of the investigation so far. The person in question who contacted Seth was actually related to one of the women written in the post, Betty June. It turns out that the 89-year-old had attended Centralia High School, graduating in 1947. Since then, she'd relocated to Chesterfield, Missouri, about 90 miles away from the derelict school. After making this amazing discovery, Seth was determined to return Betty June's wallet to her. However, a news outlet asked the pastor if they could do it for him. After hearing the remarkable story, KDSK News contacted Seth and asked him if they could deliver the wallet to Betty June on his behalf. He wholeheartedly obliged, and just like that, the news outlet sent a reporter all the way to Chesterfield, Missouri to give Betty June her wallet. So the pastor wanted me to hand deliver this to you, the reporter said to Betty June, as she pulled out the wallet and waited for her reaction at the doorstep. As she laid her eyes on her old wallet for the first time in 75 years, Betty June couldn't believe what she was seeing. Well, thank you. I'm so excited, she said to the reporter as she opened it up. I can't believe after all these years that I've... It looks like it's old. It might have been a lifetime since Betty June parted with the wallet. Truth be told, it looks very different now. However, she remembers it like it was yesterday. Betty June remembers vividly what the wallet used to be like. I remember it was red, she said, which now has an orangey-brown color instead. And I remember I lost my wallet. Deep down, Betty June was convinced that she'd never be reunited with her wallet. So to see it back in her life was the ultimate blast from the past. However, when she opened up the wallet and took a close look at the contents inside, that unlocked a series of remarkable memories. While the actual wallet had certainly seen better days, the contents inside had actually been well preserved over the years. The first photo she laid eyes on is of a young lady playing with a boy. At this point, Betty June confirmed to the reporter who the girl in the photo was. It was her when she was a girl. As for the boy standing next to her, that's a boy called Jimmy Kane, who she had a soft spot for. After confirming that she had a crush on Jimmy Kane back in third or fourth grade, Betty June also identified some of the other figures in the photos in her wallet. There were photos of other young men that she admitted to also having crushes on. Oh my goodness, look at the boys' pictures I have, she said. It's quite a shock and it's really exciting to see all these pictures. Then she found the most important photo of them all. The final photo that Betty June found in her wallet was one of her most beloved family members. It was her brother, who meant a lot to her. He'd enlisted into the army during World War II. Although he survived the conflict, he passed away a few years later. I was just so glad to get that, she told CNN, because I don't have a picture of him. However, there are still a few more questions that need answering. As previously mentioned, Seth is convinced that somebody stole the 15 wallets back in the 40s. If they were stolen, nobody's been able to identify the culprit. However, Betty June has other thoughts on the matter. I can't imagine some Somebody stole all those wallets and put them behind the toilet in a space I didn't even know was there, she said. Also, did Seth manage to find any of the other previous owner's wallets?